is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that's... sounds good to me. What the hell is this? Alright, alright guys, get out of here, get out of here, I'm serious. Fuck this. Goodbye. I'm just gonna fucking ban everybody. <laughs> It's gonna be a very simple situation where I just go bam, 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 and that's it. And then I continue playing, and I don't care. I'm sorry, guys, but I warned people ahead of time not to do copy pastas and not to talk about the vest constantly tonight. And we already got people doing it, and now they're out of here. I just got two. Oh, I'm gonna get some more. Here we go. People can't say I didn't warn them tonight. There's no way you can say I didn't warn you tonight because I, I had a whole segment on the pre-stream about it. I said don't do it. You know. So here's four. I'm still going. I'm going to keep going back. People thought I was fucking around. I'm not fucking around. Who else did it? Here we go. Five. Here we go. Goodbye. All right. It's five down. Let's keep going. All right. I got five. Good. We got that shit out of the way right at the start of the stream. Now I can just focus on the game. It's probably the five fucking people who sit there and constantly spam that shit on my stream every day anyway. All right? So tough shit. I don't care. Oh, I came in with a raid. I literally said for like a whole five minute segment before the stream tonight, I don't want any copy pasta, no spam about shit coming up, no spam about the vest tonight, nothing. And they come in and do it immediately. You're out of here. Good night. Good night and good luck. Maybe you should have fucking listened. Maybe you should have listened up instead of being immature idiots. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. Doesn't matter if they came in from a raid. They're watching the stream. No. I don't care if you came in from a raid, if you came in from fucking, you know, Burger King, or you came in from the coastline. I don't care where you came from. You're, you have to abide by the same rules as everybody else. If you don't like that, well, sounds like a personal problem that you can deal with yourself. Uh, no, I'm not singing a song, and if you spam that again, you're out of here too. Someone apparently has been spamming the same thing for like 10 minutes in the stream chat. Giant paragraph. They want me to sing a Joan Osborne song. Uh, fuck no. That not else cheered. It's a good job laying down the law. You're the Joffrey Lannister we need. I don't know about being Joffrey. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with this one. That's probably a very bad uh, analogy. But seriously, can you think of any other place of business where people could just walk in, do whatever the hell they want, and then after the fact be like, oh, I didn't know the, the rules of the law here, you know? I didn't know that you couldn't just, like, play basketball inside of a restaurant. I didn't know that. I thought I could just come in and do whatever I want, scream at the top of my lungs, rip my shirt off. Throw it above my head, pull up Vuvuzelas and start blasting loudly. Why am I getting kicked out of a restaurant? I don't understand. Well, maybe you should have fucking paid attention. Please understand that I'm not toxic. I'm not. Stinky penis to do thirty and says, Welcome to my brother Stinky Dookie. This is getting out of control. This is absolutely ridiculous. You guys know how offensive the word stinky is to me. Because people used to call me that when I was a kid. They bullied me and called me stinky. So you know all your names with the word stinky triggers me, and I'm incredibly offended. Okay? You gotta change those names immediately. <laughs> okay. What is, what is my business degree in? Funny business. I got a business degree in funny business. <laughs> what is going on tonight? What are you asking that question for? Where did that come from out of left field? My, what is my business degree in? My real name is Bozo. And I have a big honking red nose and big floppy clown shoes. You know, you guys have been asking me for two years what kind of car I drive. It's clown car. <laughs> They actually did get the waterfront correct. It's just that when we were approaching it from Ellie's side, there was no opportunity to see if it was correct. They actually, this is very accurate. Very accurate. So I will give them kudos on that. No one asked? Well, screw you. Leave my stream. Fuck off. <laughs> get out of here, you jerk. You want to be a jerk, huh? You had time to be a jerk, you think? No. Tough shit. Yep, I'm toxic. Let people be a jerk. Why are people being assholes? Come on. We're here to have a good time. Don't you want to hear about Seattle? I live there. Don't you want to fucking hear about it? No? Then why are you watching my stream? Go watch someone who lives in Hoboken, New Jersey. Hear what he has to say about the waterfront. Oh, it's wet. There you go. Very insightful. Oh, let's see here. 
The one that got banned to me dollars for the group that was a part of the raid. What do we need to do to get unbanned? It's five of us. Are we just banned for tonight? Yes. Yes, because I can't even trust you to not come in here and spam again later. You notice, you notice something, guys? I'm going to be honest. I want you guys all to take a look at the stream chat right now. Please do. You got a couple people using a few emotes. Do you notice something? The absence of spam. There's no copy pastas going on right now. No one is out of hand. Everyone's having a good time. You notice that, right? All I had to do was put my foot down at the beginning of the stream, and we just played almost 30 straight minutes with no annoying shit in the chat. So if people would just abide by those rules all the time, I wouldn't even have to do that. You see what I'm saying? People are actually behaving nicely tonight, and I appreciate that. Okay. I, I have to warn you. This is nasty as shit. Okay? Like, real nasty shit. All right, you ready? Two idiots. So... Told you two fucking idiots. That's disgusting. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. No, that's disgusting. That is d really nasty. Oh man. Come on. Terrible writing. It's the most cliche fucking writing possible, is what it is. Oh, this is delightful. Ugh. Neil Druckmann, ladies and gentlemen. Neil fucking Druckmann. Oh! Benefit. Oh! And, uh, where we that is disgusting. Disturbing and disgusting. This is what he wanted in this game. Remember Last of Us 1? All those really gratuitous sex scenes that were in that game? How great that game was because of it? Oh, God. Ugh. Sorry, I'm 100% gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. Totally gay. <sighs> Embarrassing. It's the best way to describe that shit. Embarrassing. Pathetic writing and fully embarrassing. This guy's a bitch. I haven't had sex in ages. <laughs> well, Eric tipped five dollars screaming he's gay, he's gay, he's totally gay. Good for you, thanks for the five dollar tip. Only Ice Coffee resubscribe at tier two for two months in a row. Thank you for the tier two sub. Is finally I can share this moment with you. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is great! Oh my god! It's really something proud to share with everyone on the internet, right? You probably make a compilation of how people fucking react to that stupid shit. Alright. Um. Resburgu tip $10. This is my lord. It was painful to watch. I hope everything is okay. It was. It certainly was painful. I, I can't believe that Druckmann fucking ruined this shit as bad as he did with the nonsense he put into this fucking game. But anyway, uh, $15. Abby's a shithead because Abby can't get over the murder of her father has to go after and kill Joel. Ellie's a shithead. She can't get over the murder of Joel. She kills everybody else. Owen's a shithead because he cheats. It's like, everyone's a shithead. There's no one likable in this game. They literally, there's not a single character in this game that's likable now. They, the whole, I don't even care. If she right now tripped and a piece of glass impaled her in the eyeball and her brain splattered all over the screen, I would not give two fucks. Anyway, Crabcock, Teresa, what's your opinion on that last scene? Stupid, 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 fucking stupid. That's my opinion. Neil Druckmann, he's a fucking terrible writer and he ruined the fucking game franchise. Oh, I'm gay, I forgot to tell you. Oh, yes. <笑>これが彼なんです。この状態で耳元に何かを囁いたり。Oh, <笑> See, I already knew that she was in the game because there were memes about it. The moment that the game came out, the whole internet was plastered with fucking memes about that happening, saying that that was Neil Druckmann's really immature, disgusting, perverted self putting that shit into the game. He just had to have that scene. He couldn't do it without it. You know? Couldn't even been implied that that scene happened. You had to show it. He's a fucking immature idiot. Like, seriously. Okay, The Last of Us 1. 
most people hold it up as a modern masterpiece of gaming with writing and everything, right? And was there some immaturity in it? Yes, there was some comic relief. There was some immaturity. How many sex scenes did that game have exactly? Zero. Zero. Right? And it didn't need them. You didn't need that shit. You know? It was a game about survival. It was a game about the human condition in this apocalyptic world and how people's lives got so fucked up. This is just like... This game feels like someone on a completely different maturity level in life wrote it from the first game. You know what I mean? The first game was art. The Last of Us 1 didn't need to do that. Didn't need to go to these immature extremes to get its point across because it was well written. Unlike this game. This game's pacing is completely and utterly fucked up. The flashbacks are incredibly intrusive to everything else going on in the game. Seriously, this this is a, this game is a pain in my fucking ass. Sniper just tipped me a dollar thirty and said, "I'm only ten years old. What were they doing?" Go ask your mom and then have her contact Neil Druckmann to tell you. I don't understand why this game sold as much as it did. They're saying it's the best-selling PS4 game or whatever. It even sold more than God of War and everything, and that shocks me. I didn't think it would sell that well, that well. I knew it would sell well. Don't get me wrong. I knew it would be a bestseller and everything. I didn't think it would be like the biggest. Oh fuck. I didn't think it would be, like, the biggest game. Um, Blemish C-Type did 100 100-bit cheering. So remember when Last of Us was a game about survival in a post-apocalyptic world with zombies instead of a Grindhouse film? I think that's exactly... He hit Grindhouse. That's exactly the, the right description for this game. He turned it into a Grindhouse film. Raunchy sex, fucked up violence, over the top, makes you sick. That's a Grindhouse film. That's what this game is. That's what Neil Druckmann wanted to do. I guess he wanted to be Quentin Tarantino. Well, it's funny as I know so, so many people were dying to see my reaction to that moment. I don't know what you guys were expecting, um, but that was, like, probably one of the lows of the game for me. It really was. Like, it, it made me just, like, not care anymore. That whole, it's like, you gotta be kidding me. Fucking so, so cringe, so pathetically written. The most nonsensical, cliche nonsense ever. I'm upset, I'm disgusted, I'm incredibly disturbed tonight. <laughs> no, I'm not incredibly disturbed, I'm just pissed off that this is what the game turned out to be. Just like a lot of people, it's certainly not just me, you know? It's not just me reacting like this, because some people got to this point a week ago, and it was all over the internet. How ridiculous this is. What would old school DSP say about modern DSP? Nothing, because old school DSP didn't watch content from other content creators, just like I don't. <laughs> so I literally would have said Jack Diddley. Although, if old school DSP heard that new school DSP was playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, he probably would have said, Well, we know where all the smart people are tonight. I know that for a fact, because that's exactly what I said. Still when someone else is playing the game. <laughs> there you go. And by the way, I know most of you probably already know how the game ends. Please do not spoil, because one of the few reasons that I'm I am still playing this game... Is because I want to legitimately see the ending for myself. I don't want to be spoiled on how it ends. If that were the case, if I was so pissed off by this game that I would just stop playing it and read spoilers online. But I don't want to do that. I want to play through it myself and experience it at the end, so I can give you guys an honest review at the end of the game of how I feel. So don't spoil it for me, okay? My spoken word reviews are the best on YouTube. All right. All right. Phew. Papa Vera comes out with this giant King Kong strap on. All right, baby, you approved it. Let's do it. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, I meant for you. No. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Papa Vera. Oh fucking shit. No. No. Papa Vera. Ow. Oh. No. No. Papa Vera. Ow. Oh. Papa Vera. No. No. Oh man. Oh. It's delicious. I love that. Pain is pleasure. <laughs> Frog Frogger says, when I was in school and they had sex ed, did I just cover my face or hide under my desk? I didn't either. I gave that teacher a nice lean-in manual ban like this. <laughs> Fucker. You think you're funny, huh? You think you're clever. I'll show you. Phil has indoctrinated children and send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone. Like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. 
No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>